Have you ever wondered what life would be like in a country with almost no crime? A country with all the magnificent nighttime displays and all the breathtaking landscape views you could ever dream of? A country where you could simply drop off your baby at the coffee shop for a nap? Yes, you heard that correctly. And, of course, the best internet connection you could enjoy. While this is pretty much every traveler's dream, some people are actually living the dream. But the dream is just as interesting as it is strange. Welcome back to the channel, guys. One of the things that make a great country is its people, and in some cases, it's simply its geography. And for some, you get the best of both worlds. In today's video, we take you on a journey through life in Iceland, the world's strangest country. So sit tight and let's go! Iceland was pretty much called Snowland in the past. Floki is widely regarded as the first Norseman or Viking who sailed to Iceland and discovered the breathtaking island. It is thought to be named Iceland by Vikings who first occupied the land to fool their enemies. The Vikings named Iceland and Greenland to lure their enemies away from the treasures they had found in Iceland and lure them into ice-filled Greenland, where they could have the battle advantage in the land of ice they had mastery over. Ironically, Iceland has no forests. About 30% of the island was covered with forests, but almost all of that was lost, as the Vikings, who first inhabited the land, have devastated much of its forests for woods and charcoal to keep them warm due to the extreme cold on the island. The government of Iceland runs several agricultural programs to increase greenery and food production in Europe's second largest island. Today, it's known as the land of fire and ice, and that's such a strange paradox. Over 30% of the country is covered with active volcanic lava, which is about a third of the Earth's lava flow. In fact, scientists believe that the entire island of Iceland was formed by a volcanic eruption. If you want to find out what volcanoes are like up close, the Trinukajigur volcano remains the only volcano in the world with a magma chamber that can be explored by tourists from the inside. Perhaps one of the best views in Iceland is Aurora Borealis, commonly called the Northern Lights, which can be seen from September to March. And by mid-June, the sun rarely sets 24 hours a day, earning Iceland the name the Land of the Midnight Sun. As lava-hot as Iceland may seem, over 11% of the country is covered in glaciers. The Vatnajökull Glacier National Park is home to Europe's largest glacier at 8,400 square kilometers. This massive glacier covers about 8% of Iceland. The Silfra Fisher, located in the Thingvellir National Park, has a distinctive landscape with an up-close view of the separation of the North America and Eurasian plates. It remains the only place where you can view and stand on two continental plates, making it one of the most iconic UNESCO World Heritage Sites on the planet. Things can be incredibly windy here, and the Icelandic language has over 100 different words for the word wind. The Icelandic language is not short of tongue twisters, but the majority of the residents in the capital city speak English, and in pretty much all of Iceland. You shouldn't encounter any challenges with communicating while touring the majestic island. The magical nature of the country's geography does everything but spark one of the most fascinating beliefs and prominent figures in Icelandic folklore – elves and trolls. It is believed by many Icelanders that these mystical creatures are hidden dwellers in the rocks. This leads to sometimes weird construction of roads due to planned paths that avoid passing or cutting through rocks beloved to be home to elves. Do you believe elves and trolls are real? Let us know in the comments section below. Reykjavik, Iceland's capital city, is the northernmost capital city in the world and is home to more than 60% of the country's population. The Golden Circle, which is a 300-kilometer looping road, connects Reykjavik to three of Iceland's most popular attractions. Tinkfalir National Park, Geysir Geothermal Area, and the Gulf Fuss Waterfall, and then back to Reykjavik. The Golden Circle is also known to be a safe place for hitchhikers looking for rides, and is a popular attraction for lone female travelers. You're more likely to see a volcanic eruption than get robbed in Iceland. Despite a gun-carrying and hunting-loving population, gun shootings and murder rates in Iceland are about the lowest in the world. Iceland is ranked the world's safest and most peaceful country for the 14th year in a row, a tourist's treasure. The country has no standing army and shares no border with any other country. Baby naps are an age-long custom in Iceland that can be traced back to their Viking roots. 
It is very common to see babies placed in strollers and left outside of homes or shopping centers to take a nap. Many scientific studies have argued that this significantly boosts children's immune systems. With the lowest infant mortality rate in the world and one of the world's highest life expectancy rates, you could give the Vikings gene some more credit. Talking about genes and babies, Iceland has a 95% gene database for all its citizens. In fact, for all babies since the 20th century, there's an extensive gene record in place. Baby names are regulated by the Icelandic Naming Committee, with about 30,000 approved baby first names. Parents are allowed to submit their desired baby names, which may be accepted or rejected by the committee. Last names are formed by the father's name suffixed with the term son for males and dotir for females. The goal of the Icelandic Naming Committee is to preserve the Icelandic culture and language. The Icelandic wildlife is as rich as it gets up north, with an iconic array of birds and a rich depth beneath the waters. Iceland is home to the world's cleanest water. The country has an abundance of Atlantic puffins. Ten millions of these sea parrots call this island their home, which is more than 60% of the world's population of this beautiful puffin species. Oyster catchers and golden plovers are also a common sight for tourists. And, of course, the gear falcon. This swift and large bird has become a symbol of freedom and power from the Vikings era and is considered the national animal of Iceland. Iceland is home to all the big boys of the underwater. Several species of whales are in abundance, and whale-watching tours to behold the world's largest living creatures are common in Iceland. Apart from these gentle giants, seals, dolphins, and porpoise are also very common in Icelandic waters. While Iceland is spoiled for wealth and the air and the seas, the Icelandic horse, which is one of the purest breeds of horses on the planet, stands out as the only horse breed on the island. These short and fluffy species of horse can easily be mistaken for ponies, but they are indeed horses. The Icelandic horse remains the only breed of horse that can tilt by advancing with two legs on the same side. Iceland is home to only one land mammal, the Arctic fox. Iceland remains the only country in the world with no mosquitoes. Yes! Even in other Nordic countries, it's still quite common to find mosquitoes. But to find a mosquito in Iceland, you'll have to head to the National Natural History Institute. Many have linked the absence of mosquitoes to the harsh climate conditions. Others have linked it to the absence of their common food sources, like human blood and cattle. Iceland has no cattle, but is home to an abundance of sheep. With a population of about 600,000 sheep, there are more sheep than about 350,000 humans in Iceland. This iconic lone mosquito was caught by Iceland biologist Gilsi Mar Gislason in 1981. He was traveling to Iceland when he noticed a mosquito in a cabin and caught it to preserve it. This mosquito has since been soaked in alcohol and displayed in a museum. But this lone keto isn't the only loner in an Iceland museum. The Iceland National Museum is home to the only cheeseburger in the country. Well, that's because there are no McDonald's in Iceland anymore. The world's largest fast food chain used to be present in the capital city back in the 90s. But following the global economic recession in 2008, most McDonald's began to close up, and by 2009, the last one had closed up. Icelanders are great preservers, though, and the last Mac cheeseburger in the country was preserved iconic glass display in this museum. But that doesn't mean Iceland is short of food varieties. The Icelandic hot dog is commonly called Pizzler. Back in 2004, Bill Clinton, on a visit to the Bajarin's Biz to Pizzler stand in Trigvagata, described the Icelandic hot dog as the best ever. In 2006, the Guardian newspaper described it as the best hot dog stand in Europe. Many Icelanders believe that they have the best hot dog in the world. You might want to confirm that on your next trip to Iceland. You know, let your tongue be the just judge. The Hakarl meal is also one of the country's most famous meals. This mouth-watering delicacy consists of Greenland or sleeper sharks that have been cured by fermentation and hung for four to six months in an open shed. Despite the hakarl being the national dish of Iceland, the hakarl dish is not often eaten by Icelanders, but is quite a fascination amongst tourists and visitors of Iceland. If you are from Iceland here, why is it so? Let us know in the comments below. Icelanders live in a close-knit community, and even their most famous stars can be seen walking across the street. While Icelanders are small in population, they sure have a sheer might in sports. 
The country's national sport is handball, but they love football just as much. They remain the smallest country to qualify for a major football competition. As the world's safest country and one of the world's freest countries, you're very likely to see the president jogging in a nearby park, then moving around with a number of escort or bulletproof cars. The country is home to one of the world's oldest democracies and one of the oldest parliaments on the planet. The All Think Parliament dates back to the 930s, when All Think chiefs used to meet. The fact remains that life in Iceland is pretty different from much of the rest of the world. They have one of the highest salaries, and it is illegal to pay men more than women in Iceland. The gender gap here is one of the smallest in the world, and the country boasts of the first elected female president in the world, Vigdis Vinbogadotir. The ecosystem here is one of the most suitable in the planet. Almost all of their energy is produced from renewable sources. Icelanders are book lovers. The country has the highest number of book publishers per capita in the world. It's also home to the highest number of Nobel laureates per capita in the world. Well, that's because they have just one. Haldor Laxness is the country's only Nobel laureate. And you could easily guess that he won the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1955, as the island is full of book lovers. Don't be surprised when you get a book as a Christmas gift, as this is a pretty common gift in Iceland. If you're a movie fan, you might have noticed a number of your favorite movies, such as Game of Thrones and Interstellar, were shot here. You would also notice the several beer scenes, but beer was illegal until 1989. There was a 74-year ban from 1915 to 1989, until a referendum vote in 1989 finally lifted the ban. Iceland presents the best of both worlds, and as a very stable country, it's every tourist's dream. From the awesome views to the breathtaking landscapes and its amazing culture and people, life in Iceland remains the strangest you can find anywhere in the world. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. But before you go, the elves of Iceland have a message for you. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content.